Welcome to MATLAB Arduino Video Tutorial 11. This video will cover creating and animating 3D objects in MATLAB. MATLAB functions cylinder, sphere, and ellipsoid are used to generate the coordinates of 3D objects. These coordinates are then visualized using surface commands. Animating an object consists of three fundamental operations, translation, rotation, and scaling. Here is a MATLAB script that creates and animates 3D objects. First, we set the axes. Set the figure view to 3D, turns the reference grid on, sets the axes to equal, sets the hold to on so that we can draw on the graph, and sets the X, Y, and Z label. In the next section, we generate a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. Here, we are using the cylinder function to make a cylinder and a cone, and the sphere function to make a sphere. These functions output coordinates that we assign to variables so we can use them later. The cylinder function takes two inputs. They are the top and the bottom radii. The first cylinder is uniform at the top and bottom. To create a cone, we use the cylinder function with one of the radii set to zero. To create a sphere, we simply use the sphere command. In the next section, we will add these objects to the graph. We use the surface function to visualize the shapes. This function's inputs are the coordinates of the shapes. When using the surface command, you can change the order of the coordinates to change the orientation of the shape. You can also add, subtract, multiply, and divide these coordinates to change their size and position in the graph. Next, we create an HD transform object with a parent property containing the axis handle created above. We set the parent property of the surface objects to the HD transform object. The term parent property is a relationship between objects, allowing the surface objects we created to be grouped together so that HD transform operations can be performed on the combined object. Next, we set the longitude, latitude, and altitude. These are the X, Y, and Z coordinates. The bearing is a set of angles that are used to rotate the object. Next, we perform the animation. We loop through the coordinates we just created. We use the function makeHGTform to perform basic animation transformations such as translation, rotation, and scaling. Subsequent to specifying the transformation, one uses set function to visualize it. When this script is run, we see the object moving along the coordinates we created earlier. When using makeHGTform for rotations, it is important to note that the function takes in radians, so here we convert our bearing in degrees to radians. When running the animation with each make HDT form individually, we can see how each affects the animation. Here we are seeing the object being rotated around the Y axis. Around the Z axis. And being scaled. After every frame is generated, we want to pause so we can see the animation. To use multiple make HDT forms, multiply them together in the set command. In summary, in order to create and animate 3D graphics objects in MATLAB, we have to create an axis and adjust the view, create surface objects to form different 3D shapes, create the HG transform graphics object by combining or parenting the surface objects, draw the graphics object, and manipulate the position, rotation, and scaling of the graphics object using position data. These techniques can also be used to visualize real-time sensor data. For more details on using real-time sensor data, please see MATLAB Arduino video 7, 8, and 9. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.